Hi everybody, it's Angelo and I'm here at the San Francisco International Airport. I'm about to board my plane, so I gotta shoot this really quick. Uh, but for those of you that travel a lot, um, you'll notice that for these extended flights, uh, your body tends to feel really tired, right? So um, in, in addition to keeping hydrated and um, taking care of your rest, um, you can use movement to help you um, counteract some of these effects of jet lag. So this is what I do because when I go on vacation or I go on a trip, I don't want to feel run down and bogged down and unmotivated. So I want to be excited to be wherever I'm going um, and just uh, hit the town running. So this is something you can do. It's very simple. Um, even before, during, and after the flight, you can do these. Um, so you'll be surprised um, on the airplane, you just may inspire somebody to, to move around as well. So try these. First thing we're going to do is a simple march. I do this all the time. So it's as if you're walking, but you're just kind of walking in place and exaggerating the movement a little bit. So you just lift the knees up a little bit higher than you normally would when walking. And you swing your arms here. So this movement just naturally pumps our lymphatic system. We've got nodes here under our armpits and also here near our groin. So this just helps prepare the circulation of our body. And the next one you can do is a squat push-up. Put your hands on knees and you just come down, push your feet into the ground, press your hands into your knees towards straight. It doesn't have to be totally straight. And you just repeat. What you can also do is as you come up, you can start to press your shoulder blades down and back. Okay, so that'll help activate these lats, uh, your latissimus dorsi that attaches to your low back here and, it, and into your hip. Okay, the other one is a uh, side bend, so we don't get a lot of movement um, laterally in our body, so this is a way to induce that. Um, you can do it two ways. One is just coming down to the side running one hand down the front of your leg. So it's not a total bend to the side. You want to get your hips back and then come down. And remember, none of this is about really stretching really hard to where you make this face. Just make it nice and easy and try to continue your breath. We're not trying to really stretch or really strengthen anything. We're just mobilizing our joints and these tissues. Okay. Next is a twist. So I'll show you from the front and then from the side again. So you bring one foot forward and you can not necessarily come into a lunge, but it's just a wide stance. And you just put the hands behind your head, and then you rotate towards that front knee. Okay. And what I'm doing with this back leg, I'm pushing that heel into the ground as I turn and look directly behind me. Okay, so I'll do it this way, so you can see. In this stance, you push that heel and let your body turn, okay, and then you can switch. So again, uh, we're just bringing a simple rotation in our spine. You can try to keep your body upright. The tendency is your body's gonna wanna lean. So it may not be a big range of motion, but you just wanna move towards rotating and looking directly behind you, okay? The feet are just, uh, at least hip width or a little bit wider, and that's gonna help keep you stable as you do this movement. All right, those are very simple. Marching in place, squat push-up, okay. Side bend with the feet wide, reach your hips back, reach up to the ceiling, come up, and then this rotation, turning to the side. And then you can just repeat and keep it going. So very simple, I'll see you on the next trip.